Hi, my name is Len Johns. I'm the founding dean of the Lewis School of Health Sciences. This is an exciting time to be in healthcare and for a number of reasons. One is because of all of the innovations that are going on in the discovery of what diseases are, how to treat them, uh, and, and uh, sur different kinds of surgical uh, types of techniques and, and, and those sorts. Um, it's also a good time to be in healthcare um, because the, the, the United States population is aging and if you look at the gross domestic product, um, there's about 18% of GDP is in healthcare and that's expected to grow over the next uh, probably 10 years closer to 20%. So as far as uh, growth in positions, right, and opportunities in healthcare, uh, they are expected for the most part across most professions to increase somewhere between 25 and 32 percent. If we look at the future of healthcare education at Clarkson, we have to look at it from two different perspectives. One is at the graduate level where we have occupational therapy, physical therapy, and physician assistant programs. Uh, those programs are fairly well established. Uh, the, the students that we're graduating are exceptional. Um, they're uh, considered by the people who hire them, some of the leaders, as far as the, the quality of their education. Within Clarkson University, we have a number of kind of pre-tracks into uh, healthcare and to medicine. Uh, and they would include, you know, pre-medical, pre-PA, pre-OT, um, pre-physical therapy, pre-vet, pre-dentistry. Um, uh, pre-pharmacy. If you look at many universities, right, uh, the, the various tracks into healthcare professions, um, what they end up being is they end up being um, guidance as to what courses to take that are prerequisites for um, uh, enrollment, right, or acceptance into those graduate programs. Beyond that, beyond those limited sets of, of courses to take, right, um, m most students can take any curriculum, any major they want. So for example, you could graduate in English or biology or psychology or chemistry or engineering. And as long as you have that um, preset um, courses for whichever profession you're looking at, um, you, can, you can apply and be accepted into a graduate program in healthcare.